How to get equivalent fractions? Equivalent fractions can be in higher terms or in lower terms. If you want to get fractions in higher terms, then you do multiplication. You multiply both numerator and denominator of the given fraction by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Do not multiply both of them by 1 because what you will get is the same as the given fraction. Let's do this. 2 fifths multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. You will get an equivalent fraction of 4 tenths. If you multiply both by 3, we get 6 fifteenths. By 4, 8 over 20. By 5, we get 10 over 25. So 2 fifths is equal to 4 tenths, 6 fifteenths, 8 over 20, 10 over 25, and so on. This means that you can have endless equivalent fractions of two-fifths in higher terms. Another example, seven-ninths. Multiply both numerator and denominator by two. We get 14 eighteenths. By six, 42 over 54. By seven, 49 over 63. By 10, 70 over 90. So seven-ninths is equivalent to 14 eighteenths, 42 over 54, 49 over 63, 70 over 90, and so on. How to get equivalent fractions in lower terms? You do division. You divide both numerator and denominator of the given fraction by a common factor or divisor. For example, 18 over 36. Both of them are even, so they are divisible by 2. So 18 divided by 2 is 9. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 9 18 is equivalent to 18 over 36 in lower term. 18 over 36 can also be divided both by 3. 18 divided by 3, 6. 36 divided by 3 is 12. 18 and 36 can also be divided by 6. So the answer or the equivalent fraction is 3, 6. 18 and 36 can also be divided by 9. So the answer is 2 fourths. And lastly, 18 and 36 can be divided by its greatest common factor, 18. So the answer is 1 half. Since 1 half cannot be divided anymore, then 1 half is the lowest term of the fraction 18 over 36. So 18 over 36 is equal to 9 18 6 twelfths, 3 6, 2 fourths, and 1 half. You might be asking, how will I know that I can divide both of them by 2, by 3, by 6, by 9, by 18? I think the best answer there is you need to be familiar with the times table. Another example, 30 over 40. Both numbers can be divided by 2. So we get 15 over 20. Both can also be divided by 5, 6 over 8. And both can be divided by its greatest common factor, 10. So we get an equivalent fraction of 3 fourths. Since 3 fourths cannot be made lower anymore, and since the divisor of 30 and 40 is its greatest common factor, then 3 fourths is the lowest term of the fraction 30 over 40. So 30 over 40 is equivalent to 15 over 20, 6 eighths, and 3 fourths. Like equivalent fractions, we may have different races, skin colors, beliefs, languages, cultures, and preferences. But in the eyes of God, we are all the same. 
this is Teacher Zilla reaching out to you, your Penai Math teacher.